from the number one seed Chen Long from China. The 23 year olds from Fujian province on the east coast of China. A year ago, he was beaten in the final by Lin Dan. Lin Dan, the Olympic champion, of course, not back to the World Tour. Not yet since his Olympic triumph once again. Well, for this young man, the 25-year-old from Malaysia, this is his first ever Super Series semi-final. And it's not just a Super Series semi, it's a Premier Super Series. Of course, five of the 12 Super Series events each year are Premier status and even higher status. And of course, the five are the Korean, the All England, Indonesia, Denmark, and now China. And what an occasion for the left-hander. Well, he's had a good tournament so far. There's the Malaysian first round victory over the number six seed, Sho Suzaki. And I watched that one, I thought he was very impressive indeed. That was the battle of the left-handers, of course. And then in the second round, he disposed of Hans Christian Wittinghus, who, of course, you know extremely well. Wittinghus, one of those hard workers on court and always gives a hundred percent but he was disposed of in two straight games Chen Long well like Chong Wei Feng has won all of his matches in two straight games but one has to think that the Olympic bronze medalist from China Chen Long who whilst he's at number three in the world ranking at the moment has been as high as two it was this time last year that he spent four weeks as world number two well, for the Malaysian, he's 26 in the world ranking and his win loss record for the year, whilst in the positive, 19 and 14. Only one previous semi final, and that was the Chinese Taipei Grand Prix gold event. So, this is only his second semi final of the year. And there is confirmation of what I was just saying to you Sho Suzaki, the number six seed in the very first round, and then another Japanese player after beating Hus in the second round. Ueda, once again in two straight games, so he's been very impressive indeed. It's been a good tournament for him, but he's going to have to play his very best badminton against the number one seed, the current world number three. It's only 10 in the Super Series ranking is Chen Long. His win-loss record for the year translates into this being his seventh semi-final of the year one tournament title that of course was the china masters first super series event post the london olympics uh, his quarter final yesterday was against the number five seed kanichi targo and he disposed of the japanese player 13 and 12 in 40 minutes they have men once previously and that was in the very first round of those badminton asia championships last year that was so I think that Chong Wei Feng has improved considerably since their last encounter which was a good 18 months ago and the Malaysian coach Rashid Sadek who knows all about winning these big events and big matches because of course Rashid Sadek was the Olympic bronze medalist from 1996 in Atlanta and there's another bronze medalist goodness me we're littered with them today. <laughs> so Chong Wei Feng, the left-handed Malaysian, getting this semi-final underway. Well, both the coaches bronze medals from Olympics and one of the men on court a bronze medal from the Olympics. 
Well, it's the left-hander on court. He's yet to win a major medal in a major international competition. But going back on my point, Jim, that I think he's improved considerably since these two last played, the only previous time they've played against each other in those Asian championships. And I think an awful lot of that has been to do with the fact that the Malaysian, what they call the backup players, are now training and sparring against the Olympic silver medalist and current world number one, Lee Chong Wei. And we saw the benefit of that with Liu Darren winning the French Super Series event. And I think we're seeing the benefit of that now with, with this man. Definitely, definitely. Um, they're showing signs of improvement, all the backup players. And uh, must have been, he's been very impressive in this tournament, uh, John. Uh, not only winning, but winning them in two sets. Um, very impressive. No, I think he just caught himself on his knee with his racket with the follow-through there. I don't think there's any serious damage, but maybe just drawn a little bit of blood. It's amazing to think that prior to this, well, he's three times been in quarterfinals of Super Series events, but this is first ever semi-final. He's had big wins in the past, hasn't he? He's beaten the likes of Taufik Hidiat, the former World and Olympic champion, Boonsak Ponsana, who won the Singapore Super Series event earlier this year, and, of course, Kenichi Targo. But he's never really translated that all the way through a tournament, as he has done here in Shanghai. He's had good result after good result here. Yeah. And that, that's, that's, a, that's a good sign for him, that he can yeah. treat good matches. Uh, uh, together like that. But of all the games he's he's been playing, this is the biggest task yet. It's because um, uh, Chen Long is so so powerful. Um, when you talk about powerful, I don't necessarily think of him as a big hitter, but I think of him as a powerful mover. Yeah, powerful mover and, and, and uh, keeps the tempo up, and, and he has no problem with rallying, you know. Uh, and even though he's a, he's a fairly big single player, <laughs> yeah. he's, uh, he doesn't really uh, seem to have a problem in that department. That's a very good point, actually, because most of the top singles players are very slight athletes, aren't they? Whereas the doubles players tend to be a lot more solid. Whereas, you know, physically, you would tend to think he's, he's built more like a doubles player. Yeah. He, he probably can play a pretty good <laughs> doubles, but he is, uh, he's, he is very big. Um, When you when you when you're that tall, you need to be that you need to be that strong, you know. And and, and Chen Lang is that he has that strong, you know. Uh, it's impressive to see him move around, to see him how explosive. See, we saw it here, how quickly he can get up to the shuttle and, and get these cuts and sticks masses in. Um, Yeah, heavy bandaging on that right knee, isn't there? Just 
demonstrating your point. Look how powerful he is coming up again. And very explosive and, you know, and he uses that we spoke about yesterday, he uses the neutral shot a lot because he is that big, you know, so it's so difficult to play it away from him when he plays that neutral shot into the court. Um, which is something that Chung, I think, is very good at, and that's what we saw here. Is he's good at the net, he's good at doing these uh, little bit of uh, uh, um, uh, trick shots. Um, but when he doesn't have that chance, oh, that was nice. <laughs> but, but, but when he doesn't get that chance, he has to play into Chen Lung's kind of game, and I, I, I think that, that that will be very difficult for him in the long run to win, win it on that. So he has to go in and try and control uh, the rallies. Uh, Here's Rashid Sadek. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't believe it. That was fantastic! Well, that's what you call perfection. That's unbelievable. It's clear to see who he's training with. <laughs> <laughs> Just wide. Yeah. You see, he's really Chung is really trying to find the net uh, and play close to the net to get uh, to kind of fool Chen Chen into playing, but he's not falling for it. He's just using the back court and playing it into the court, um, and then waiting for his chance. games by both in the start yeah. you know uh, feeling each other seeing who's gonna open up who's gonna to see Chung be more effective from the backcourt with his uh, cross sticks and cross matches if he's to uh, if he's to beat Chen Long um, because that's something he's very good at and no. just as Chen Long is good at it <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, I think he needs to go in and see if he can take the net and then get the lift and then control it from there um, I don't think in the long run this game He's playing right now will suit him against Silang because he's way more effective at it. Um. Much better. Yeah. Right well, idea. Right, right idea. Yeah. Yeah.
it's amazing with think of Chong Wei Feng as a youngster and he is a youngster he's only 25 years of age but then Chen Long is two years younger than his opponent and we think of Chen Long having been around for a long time and achieving for so many years and indeed he has I can remember the first year he was on tour first full year was 2009 and he reached three finals in his first year that's pretty impressive in senior badminton. The next year, five finals, 2011, then reached six finals. But of course, he hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons at the World Championships last year. He was the number five seed and lost in the very first round to Guatemala's Kevin Corden. But we were talking in the mixed doubles earlier today about the the test of a champion if you're not feeling 100% coming back and finding a way. I also think a test of a champion is how you react to disappointment and straight after losing in that first round of the World Championships, Chen Long promptly won his next three tournaments and all of them Super Series. That's a way to answer your critics. <laughs> Absolutely. So he's got good character. Yeah, definitely. He's champion material. Definitely. And he's playing very well here now. You see, Chung is, you know, Chung is coming up with his best shot, but uh, Cheng Lang is still just getting the shots back. It could be very frustrating to play against a, an opponent that has that feeling on court. Oh, I thought that was going to drift wide. Yeah, it looks as if the Malaysian is running out of ideas. You see, it's it, as you said in the beginning, the all, all around game that they're playing right now, Chin Long is just too good and too strong at it. Uh, so he needs to change. Chung needs to come up with something different. Um, maybe go all in and maybe take the pace off uh, up uh, uh, two gears. Uh, could be an idea because right now he's not really. He's he's just been played around with. Because to me, he's not taking enough initiative within no, the rally. Not at all. And you can just see that Chen Long is just comfortable. You know. Yeah. And when he's that comfortable, he is playing really, really well, so. Yeah, that's the last seven points have demonstrated. From 8-6 to 15-6. Make that 16-6. Impressive performance so far from Jin Long. hasn't got the same feeling as we've seen uh, in, in the three first matches he had in this tournament, you know, where, where he hardly made a mistake, you know, he's been, yeah. you know, he, the clears are going out, the lifts are going wide, you know, he's been doing net mistakes, so it's it's a sign of uh, that one player is playing really well <laughs> in this shot, and then a sign of that he's not, he's not, you know, he doesn't really feel the cold in there right now. Um, there's nothing worse for a player when they you know, th these these players are that, you know, they're so professional and such a, such a talented players that that when that sets in, when you don't, you're not comfortable, you're even a normal clear, which is for them normally easy, would go out. Yeah. And you can see then, you know, he, because he's been clearing out a few times, he's clearing too short and, and you, yeah. you see what happens then. Chen Long just goes up and puts it down. Mm. 
Now, game points have come about on a run of 12 straight points. Oh, it all started so promisingly, didn't it? There's been one-way traffic since 8-6. Long is comfortable. Very seldom we see him clear so much. Yeah. 13 straight points and a 21 6 opening game in just 15 minutes of play. And by the end of that, Chong Wei Feng knew that there was no point fighting back. It was too much of a deficit. But it really was a very impressive opening game by Chen Wong. Charles Rancher. Well, he's still not happy with something. He got six points. <laughs> <laughs> Chung, it's uh, it's about saying new game. Yeah. Forget it. I just haven't. You know, it's cold in the hall. We talked about that. It's chilly. I'm warm now. <laughs> uh, I got two sets. If I, I had to win two sets anyway, uh, if I was to win this match, so um, it is to clear your mind and then start totally over with a new game plan. And he has to come out fighting a little bit more, trying to to put up the pace. Uh, this match. Yeah, I'd like to see him show us all that he believes. Yeah, exactly. You know, at the moment, uh, the second half, especially of that opening game, it was all too much, you know, just reacting to what Chen Long was doing instead of going out there and saying, I deserve my semi final yeah. place here. I'm going to show you what I can do. I also say, you know, at least he can just do that and then say, okay, I tried. You know? Exactly. Uh, instead of just, do, you know, Getting six in the second, also. Uh, mm. So the number one seed, Chen Long, former champion here at the China Open. Oof. Oh. Oh, I can already hear Xi Chang with a way different, you know, approach in his legs. Look at that. You know, ready, 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 ready. And that's, yeah, I think he's going to come out storming now. Um. Yeah. Oh. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see. Much better. Yeah, because he's, he's such a talented little player, isn't he? And we just didn't see the best of Chong Wei Feng in that opening game. Rallies like that, much more like what we know he can play. Yeah, it's a pity. Still not comfortable with that clear. And it's it's you know for him right now it's it's really confusing because it's on, you know there is a little bit of drift in here, but on both sides he's hitting it out, so that's. That's not a good sign. That's impressive. Yeah, we, we can't forget Chin Long in this game. No. <laughs> we can't take. We have to give him credit. He's uh, every chance he's taking, he's, he's done the right thing. So you know, uh, impressive.
effective, so effective. Here again from the attack position, look how quick he comes to the net and kills it. And that's, when you have that as a single player, that tempo shift, you got, you know, you got a big, big, big advantage. A little bit like we saw Zhang Jimin, he had, you know, coming from the back court, going to the front court. Um, Nice, very good judgment. Wide by a whisker. So, so very, very focused Jin Long. Well, it's called good. Well. Hi. A little look from Chong Wei Feng. Oh dear me. What did you think? Caught the outside edge of the line? I'll leave I'd, it hate, to be line a judge. <laughs> I'd hate to be a line judge. Yeah. I really wanted to. I actually thought it was good. But uh, had I been a player, it would have definitely <laughs> would have been out. <laughs> but you, you, you have to understand when, you, when you're in the. When you're on the court and you really badly want to win, of course you want to win the fairway, but when you have a call like that, there's so a 50-50 call, of course you want it in your favor. Yeah. Um, and, and of course your mind is telling you it's out. Chung went for the crush, and then the first time in a long time, Chen Lan went straight, so... Um, that's clever. Clever, but at least you can see Chung is trying something. Um, uh. oh, and now it goes straight down the middle. Smart. Very clever. It's on in all areas on the court right now. Chen Long is on top, uh, even at the net right now. He's the first up there. He's highest on the net, so he can keep it when it's close uh, to get the spin and the lift and then the attack and then come forward. So he's uh, he's very comfortable. And of course, he's tried this a few times um, where Chang, uh, you know, he's much struggling in that to find out what he's going to do. Yeah, so a stark difference between these two men as far as the power of the overhead shots is concerned, isn't there? Yeah. See, maybe that's the way forward to, to go in and play some a little bit of what we we'll call doubles, <laughs> you know, play some flat um, and then uh, take it from there. Look how high chill. Oh my goodness. That is just incredible. I was just about to say how well Chong Wei Feng had played. Taking the shuttle off the top of the tape. Look, he plays a nice net shot, brushes over it, and yet Chen Long is back and ready for it. Extraordinary. What a balance. Yeah. forced to these mistakes he's feeling uh, he's feeling the pressure so he's he's uh, he's taking chances that he normally probably wouldn't do and when you do that though you will have a lot of uh, mistakes
signal that was getting out. Comfortable, you know. Uh, Six point advantage at the in game interval, and in taking the open game, 21 6. And comfortable, I think, is an understatement at the moment as far as Chen Long. His whole demeanor, his whole persona on court just oozes the fact that he believes he's going to win that. But when you're a, in a coaching situation, Jim, and if you were talking to Chung Wei Feng right now, and you've got to somehow convince him to trust himself. You were talking about the fact that, you know, because of the shots that he's been playing earlier in the week are coming back and coming back with interest, and, and therefore he's starting to make mistakes or he's not trying them at all. How, how do you persuade the player to trust himself? Well, you can you can kind of ask the player what he thinks. You know, they, he does have five points. You know, how did he get those? Uh, what did, does he think was successful? And then maybe make him open up and say, oh, "Well, I did this and I did that." And then, okay, well, you know, yeah, let's continue doing that. And, and, and that's kind of like training the player to trust himself in what he's doing. Um, and then again, what we spoke about the other days also is that you have to accept that your opponent does good shots. Um, you could have been playing well, but, you know, he just maybe um, had some fantastic shots and then trust that, that a player won't do that for two sets. Yeah. And if he keeps doing shots like this, well, you can't win anyway. No. <laughs> so... Uh, I would still like to see, you know, a little bit more aggressiveness from uh, from, from Chung, you know, a little bit more spark. Um. It looks so easy with Chen Long. Looks like a training uh, session sometimes. Mm. He's so comfortable. So he needs to, he needs to come with something, force force it more. Not so good. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think the problem for Chang is he simply can't get through. Chenlan. And he's he has that feeling now that you know, he's really, really thinking about how can I get through Chenlan? But it's not, it's not just about power, is it? It's not just about the power of, of the overhead shots. He's not managing to outmaneuver Chen Long first. I mean, a couple of rallies ago, I just watched in awe how Chen Long had outmoved the Malaysian player, and yet Chong Wei Feng is not managing to get the Chinese player out of position at all. No. And therefore, there's no chance of going for a, a, the winning shot because, you know, unless he's out of position first, it's not going to be a winner. Ten of the last eleven points gone to Chen Long. And right now, it's in, you know, we can't help feel sorry a little bit sorry for Chen Long. Uh, oh, not Chen Long. Don't feel sorry for him, but, <laughs> <laughs> but for Chang because uh, he can also see the scoreboard as we yeah. can, and, and this is not this is not a good feeling. And then again, you know, maybe he had a target that said semi-final, mm. and some players have difficulty to find a new target in the tournament, and he's maybe satisfied with what he's he achieved. He's definitely not satisfied with this, I know, that, but but sometimes it's just that's better. That's much better. Yeah, well played.
you see, shots like that to me, I mean, there's no need to go for the line. You're not trying to play a winner with your net shot. No. You know, it, it's a shot to build the rally. It's to to set yourself up, and therefore, it's to me, it's just nonsense trying to go for the line. Yeah. And that that probably tells you his state of mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just clearly not thinking right now. He's just. Uh, yeah. He doesn't really but know what to do. It, it sounds <laughs> as if we're being awfully harsh on, on Chong Wei Fen because, you know, but he, he's not giving his best performance today, which is disappointing for us as sports fans, as Babington fans, because I know he can play better than this. I've, I've watched it earlier in the week. He's yeah. been absolutely superb. He's, you know, but this is, this is the big boys Babington now. Yeah. You know, semi-finals of Premier Super Series events is what he's, he's aspired to, and now he's experienced it he should learn from this experience because he does deserve to be in the semi-final he's played well enough all week that he, he thoroughly he's, deserves he's it it's been an absolutely pleasure to watch and a very uh, uh, you know very fun to watch as well yes. uh, in the, his style and, and you know um, so it's you know from here in it's, it's just you know um, take this one in and say okay <laughs> if I'm to, to go to the next level uh, there's things I have to go home and I'd be much, on. much better at yeah. um. Well, a whole host of match points now. For Chen Long, the number one seed. Yeah, it's well saved. Just a few more of those. <laughs> <laughs> Then he doesn't have to train. <laughs> but it is tough, you know, it is tough yeah. when you're in the semi-final. First time like this, and then you want, of course, want to put a good performance in, and then you're up against the guy who just have a really, really, really good day. time of asking and a comprehensive victory for Chen Long and he's through to his third consecutive China Open final the former champion from two years ago beaten finalists last year and now in 2012 through to the final once again Umpar confirming the score just 33 minutes required for that victory 21-6, 21-7. will be a new grip on that racket tomorrow, ready for the final, where he will play against his teammate, Wang Cheming. But there you can see from the scoreline, it really was a very impressive performance today by the number one seed, Chen Long.